शिकागो यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स जुलाई 1893 A 30-year-old Indian man found himself walking on the cold streets of Chicago, unsure of how he would survive in this foreign land with no money for food and shelter. He had no warm clothes and was chilled to the bone. Wherever he walked, white Americans mistaking him for a negro, hooted, teased, chased him and threw things at him. Despite this humiliation and excruciating hardship his resolve did not waver Two months later fate intervened the same indian man received thunderous applause and a standing ovation from a crowd of 7000 people at the parliament of religions in the same city of chicago for his speech that man was swami vivekananda and the speech that earned him this praise was sisters and brothers of america it fills my heart with joy unspeakable to rise in response to the warm and cordial welcome which you have given us i am proud to belong to a religion which has taught the world both tolerance and universal acceptance this one speech changed the future of the world and especially the future of india dr b r ambedkar one of the founding fathers of modern india famously said The greatest man India produced in the recent centuries was not Gandhi but Swami Vivekananda. Every adult Indian has at least heard the name Swami Vivekananda and his popularity is not limited to India alone. He is revered globally. Swami Vivekananda. Swami Vivekananda However there are very few people who really know about his journey and how he became a historical giant Rabindranath Tagore once said if you want to know India study Swami Vivekananda watch this video until the end you will get to know the world through Swami Vivekananda's eyes additionally you will learn how he influenced the world in a much bigger way than you may think We know that Swami Vivekanand was the first yogi to introduce Hinduism or Sanatana Dharma in America. He is hailed as the first yogi and Hindu to popularize yoga, Vedanta and even the Bhagavad Gita in the West. His electrifying speech in Chicago made waves across America. This speech marked the second most life-changing event for him. The first of course was his extraordinary encounter with his guru Ramakrishna Paramahansa a great mystic from India we'll dive into that story in just a bit what's truly mind blowing and downright inspiring is that despite his short 39 years on earth Swami Vivekananda's astonishing body of work and profound legacy are both extraordinary and humbling In India his birthday on the 12th of January is celebrated every year as National Youth Day on January 12 2013 which marked his 150th birth anniversary events were held worldwide to celebrate his life and teachings however it's interesting to note that while Swami Vivekanand is often regarded as a political and social hero His spiritual and mystical side 
is seldom discussed. For instance, when his guru Ramakrishna Paramahansa was asked what he saw in Narendra Nath or Naren, Swami Vivekananda's original name, that captivated him from their first meeting, Ramakrishna replied, When I met Narendra Nath for the first time, I noticed that he did not have a sense of body consciousness. Their initial meeting took place at one of Ramakrishna's disciples' home. Narendra Nath, who was a skilled Hindustani classical singer, performed a few bhajans, devotional songs, during the gathering. Ramakrishna expressed deep affection for him, even shedding tears while talking to Narain for the very first time. This left Narain feeling perplexed. During their second meeting, Ramakrishna touched Narain's chest with his right foot and Narain entered into Nirvikalpa Samadhi, a profound state of consciousness. Narain described this experience as follows. My eyes were wide open and I saw that everything in the room, including the walls themselves, was whirling rapidly around and receding. At the same time, it felt as if my sense of self, along with the entire universe, was about to vanish into a vast, all-devouring void. It felt like the annihilation of my sense of self, akin to death. I sensed death right before me, very close. Overwhelmed, Narain cried out, Ah, what are you doing to me? Don't you know I have my parents at home? Upon hearing this, the master burst into laughter. Then touching Narain's chest with his hand, he said, All right, let it stop now. It need not happen all at once. It will occur in its own good time. Narain, to my amazement, this extraordinary vision of mine vanished as suddenly as it had appeared. I returned to my normal state and saw things inside and outside the room standing still, just as before. It was a remarkable encounter that revealed the profound spiritual connection between Swami Vivekanand and his Guru Ramakrishna Paramahansa. Even after experiencing this, Narin still remained a little skeptical about Ramakrishna for a while. One day, Narin was making fun of Ramakrishna's teaching on non-dualism or Advaita Vedanta before a friend. What would be more absurd than to say this jug is God, this cup is God and that we too are God? Both started laughing. Suddenly, Ramakrishna appeared and after knowing the reason behind their laughter, he gently touched Narain and went into Nirvikalpa Samadhi himself. This touch produced a mystical effect for Narain and he too experienced Nirvikalpa Samadhi. He experienced the whole cosmos as part of himself and one with himself. Just now he was making fun of non-dualism and now his guru made him experience it. This experience stayed with him for days. Even while walking in public, he saw the carriages, the horses, the crowd and everything as part of himself. Now Narin wholeheartedly accepted Ramakrishna as his guru. Throughout his life, Narin had encountered many great intellectuals who possessed knowledge of Advaita Vedanta. However, Ramakrishna was different. He embodied the essence of Advaita Vedanta. He lived the highest state of consciousness described in those ancient teachings. This profound encounter with Ramakrishna transformed Narin's life forever. Another revered Indian mystic of the 19th century, Ramana Maharishi, 
beautifully expressed the guru disciple relationship one of ramana's disciples asked him shri ramakrishna touched vivekananda and the latter experienced bliss is such a thing possible ramana replied shri ramakrishna did not touch for that purpose he did not create the atma he did not create a realization vivekananda was ready he was eager to realize he must have completed the initial stages in his past lives such an experience is only possible for those who are ripe and mature even ramakrishna himself used to tell his disciples that narain was a reincarnation of sage nar of nar narayan a revered duo of sages in hinduism we will delve into their story in a separate video during one of their spiritual encounters ramakrishna inquired about narain's past lives and spiritual journey it was revealed to ramakrishna confirming what he had already sensed that narain was a sage who had attained perfection in his past life ramakrishna predicted that once narain realized his true self he would let go of his body through an act of will attaining mahasamadhi in this lifetime narain's mission was to spread his guru's teachings to the world Ramakrishna who embodied the wisdom of the Vedas Bhagavad Gita yoga and more considered it the heritage of Bharat and a gift from the ancient Indian yogis and sages Ramakrishna Paramahansa recognized the significance of Narain's role in this mission for he was needed to share this invaluable wisdom with the world Ramakrishna himself if he was left to himself nobody in the world would have ever heard about him because he had no means to communicate with the rest of the world he was incredible not coming enough to operate with the world <laughs> so he chose uh, Vivekananda as his vehicle he took Ramakrishna all over the world there had been hundreds of Ramakrishnas but you heard only one Ramakrishna because uh, of somebody like Vivekananda that's all for this video while we aim to delve into Swami Vivekananda's life in great detail but we are not sure if you want to watch a very long video so we will be sharing the part 2 of his story soon make sure to subscribe to Mystics of India and stay tuned for part 2 where we will continue exploring Swami Vivekananda's remarkable life and journey. Additionally, let us know which mystic you would like us to feature in our upcoming biographies. We would love to hear from you in the comment section. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Let the wisdom go viral.